Welcome football fans to Boston, Massachusetts. My name is Dave Stevens, and I'm joined, as usual, by Mike Steele. Dave, we see both teams right now getting those cleats laced a bit tighter. Checking that helmet one last time. Makes me want to run back down for one more go at it. This one's going to be great. You are absolutely right, Mike. I think that both of these teams have something to prove today. Out onto the field comes the kicking team. The kick is off. And he's brought down after a return of 27. There looks to be an injury down on the field. Second down. He drops back. Uncorks this one. The receiver can't bring it in. Go! He drops back. He flings a pass. Way downfield along the sideline. That's a well-run route and a precision pass for the first down. Makes the toss to number 33. That gets us to second down. Go! Number four drops back. Picked off. It's hard to do, Dave, but you've got to let it go. Did I... Own the mistake and move forward. This QB is better than that one mistake. As an offense, the best way to show appreciation to the defense for forcing a turnover is to go drive I... down the field and turn it into a score. Incomplete. That gets us to third down. Steps into the pocket. Hurls a pass. And he's brought down. That will bring up first down. Go! He takes the ball. Third down. The handoff is taken by number 38. That will move the chains. The offense needed to get it down on third down, and that's exactly what they did. The runner breaks free. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. That was a great run there to pick up the first down. Breaking away from the defense. Well, we'll see if that holds up after the penalty. Touchdown! What a play, Dave. They committed to the game plan, and it pays off with points on the board. That's a play they won't mind seeing over and over in film this week. And he will miss it. Wide. No good. The away team strikes first today. Six, nothing. Seeing some high fives down on the sideline. The offense is really fired up after that touchdown. The home team has a great opportunity to get back out in front of this ball game on this drive. Number four tosses one out. That will bring up second down. He rifles one across the first down line. This defense is going to have to get its assignments in order. Go! If not, they can expect to give up yardage all day. Stewart catches it. That gets us to second down. Go! He tosses it to the runner. The runner shakes off the tackle. He crosses the goal line. Touchdown! What a play! That is what football is all about. Here's the kick. It's good! Boston will take the lead with that score. Seven, six. The home team is in control now. They're going to look out and get a solid stop of defense to stay in that driver's seat. Well, it looks like we've got an injured player on the field. If the offense can drive down the field and get some points here, I'd expect to see a big momentum shift in the game. Here comes the rush. Zings it. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. That'll be enough for the first down. If they keep doing this, the kicker's going to have a much easier job today. Extra points only, perhaps. 
The away team accepts the penalty. Penalties have a way of taking the air out of a team's confidence or momentum. Breaking away from the defense. That will move the chains. Go! Here comes the pressure. Rockets what? Near the line of scrimmage over the sideline. Touchdown! I'll tell you, these two work on that in practice all the time. They can do this in their sleep, but it sure gives the defense nightmares. The away team showed us great execution and determination on that touchdown. Well, that'll wrap things up for the first quarter. The away team leading 12-7. Tackled after a return of 27. If the offense can drive down the field and get some points here, I'd expect to see a big momentum shift in the game. Penalty marker on the field. He crosses the goal line. Touchdown. We'll see if the penalty affects the outcome. And he crosses the goal line for a touchdown. Not to be biased, Dave, but that's all on the QB. He read the defense perfect, selected the target, and released the ball exactly when he needed to. Put six on the board for them. The defense seemed ready for it, but the offense just wouldn't be denied. It's good. Boston will take the lead with that score. 14, 12. A big score there for the offense. They push out front, but there's still plenty of game left. If the offense can drive down the field and get some points here, I'd expect to see a big momentum shift in the game. First down. You know, Dave, you can only go from first down to first down so many times before it turns into points on the board. Tosses a pass way downfield. The pass falls harmlessly to the ground. Drops back into the pocket. And they can't connect. Incomplete. The QB took a deep shot there for the first down, but the defense had it covered the whole way. The punt will sail out of bounds. The home team has the chance to make this a two-score game with this possession. <laughs> Romeo takes the ball. Finally brought down... That will move the chains. <laughs> Zings it. Brought down. That will bring up second down. <laughs> Number four makes the handoff. Finally brought down. The away team takes their first time up. That'll be enough for the first down. We've got an injured player down on the field. Pitches it out to number 33. The away team uses their second timeout. That will bring up second down. Makes the catch. And he crosses the goal line for a touchdown. I'll tell you, these two work on that in practice all the time. They could do this in their sleep, but it sure gives the defense nightmares. It's good. Boston adds another score, 21-12. Don't let the score fool you, fans. This has been a very physical game, and it's really taken its toll. So much of football is mental. The offense needs to get a score in this drive to build some confidence if they want any shot of coming back in this game. Tonight. That'll give them a fresh set of downs. It's runs like that, Dave, that helps set the tone for this game. Nothing fancy, just our guys beat your guys. Tonight. Tackled quickly, back at the 42. That gets us to second down. The defense is coming on a blitz. He's taken down. Touchdown! I'll tell you, these two work on that in practice all the time. They could do this in their sleep, but it sure gives the defense nightmares. It's good! The away team reclaims some lost ground. 21-19. These guys play with a chip on their shoulder, and they also keep chipping away at this lead. The home team has the chance to make this a two-score game with this possession. Tonight. He drops back. He hurls one. And 
it's all. Hike. Roger on the carry. The away team will take their third and final time out here. That will bring up first down. Coming with pressure. Uncorks this one. Touchdown! Simple X's and O's. And in this case, the offense just found a weakness in the D and got rewarded with six points. It's good! Boston adds another score. 28-19. In many ways, this one was not the game we expected, Dave. But certainly, this type of lead has made a statement. Makes the return up to the 35. The away team needs to execute on this drive if they want to start eating away at that lead they've let the other team build up on them. He can't make the catch. Go! Third down. Tonight. The QB hands it off. That'll bring up fourth down. Sometimes it's a good strategy Tonight. to play the field position game. Get yards when you can and hope for a good stop on defense so you can give it another go closer to the end zone. Go. He drops back. Muscles a pass over the middle. Second down. And that brings us to the end of the second quarter. Boston out in front for now. 28-19. Cole kicks it to the left side of the field. And the kick lands out of bounds. Let's go down to our own Emma Adams, who has an update for us. Dave, Mike, I spoke briefly with a coach for Boston during the break. He told me that their offensive line was doing a fantastic Tonight. job creating holes and opportunities for the backs to move the ball on the ground. And they would be looking to keep a similar pace in the second half. Back to you guys. Thanks for that, Emma. Go! Launches a pass to the... It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown. We'll see if the penalty affects the outcome. Boston will accept the penalty. As we look back at it, he really did get that arm in there. So it's clear to see why they made the call. Makes the catch. That gets us to second down. Hey. Dropping back. Airs one out to the... It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown. This receiver, such a good wingspan. He's got the ability to get that ball even when the ball isn't perfectly passed. And is unable to punch it through. No good. The away team recovered some ground with that score. 28-25. The home team is feeling the pressure. They can give themselves a lot of breathing room with a score on this upcoming drive. It's a close one so far today. Go. Let's see if the offense can extend their lead on this drive. Number four makes the pitch. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. Well, that's Go. one way not to worry about converting on third down. Just get it done on the first. It's caught for the score. Not to be biased, Dave, but that's all on the QB. He read the defense perfect, selected the target, and released the ball exactly when he needed to. We've got an injured player down on the field. It's good! Boston widens their lead. 35-25. And now, Dave, the backups are kind of begging for some game time. The offense needs to get to work here. They've got an uphill road ahead of them to retake the lead and would do well to get things rolling now. And he misses his mark. Hike. Steps into the pocket. The defense is coming on a blitz. And it's off. Go. There's a flag on the field. The Whalers bringing pressure. He can't bring it in. Let's see how the penalty affects things. 
The away team takes the penalty. We had seen them be a little jumpy, Dave, but you have to maintain composure. Hike! Burn on the punt. Tackled after a return of 13. The defense has their backs to the wall here. Look for some aggressive blitz packages and tight coverage. Makes the toss to number 33. That will bring up second down. Tonight. Dropping back. McKenzie makes the sack. The offense will lose about eight. That gets us to third down. Go. Games are won and lost on third down. Fourth down. Hike. Sutton on the punt. Tackled after a return of 17. The away team has a great opportunity here to build some momentum Hike. and eat away at that lead they're facing. He pitches the ball to the runner. That will bring up second down. Tonight. Dropping back. Makes the throw. And he can't reel it in. Hike. Padilla looking to pass. Finds a target along the sideline. Incomplete pass. Sometimes you have to have that gunslinger mentality and take a shot to keep the defense on their toes. It didn't work out that time, but it will still let the D know that this QB isn't afraid to test them deep. The offense has built up a nice lead and should focus on extending this drive as long as possible to eat up that clock. That will bring up second down. Sets his feet and throws. He's taken down by Mathis. That will move the chains. When you can complete those types of throws for first downs, it forces the defense to move men out of the box, which opens up the run game. And that's enough for a first down. That'll wrap things up for the third quarter. The home team with the lead so far, 35-25. <laughs> The away team sends men on the blitz. That brings up second down. Go! Dropping back. Launches a pass. And he misses his mark. This is not the situation the offense wanted to be in on third down. Let's see what they come up with. Hike! Cole makes the kick. And he's good from 51 yards out. Boston adds to their score. 38-25. They just keep pouring it on, Dave. But that's the competitiveness of this league. You can't let off the throttle. And he's brought down after a return of 26. The offense has a great opportunity here to build some momentum and eat away at that lead they're facing. Pitches it out to number 23. That will move the chains Quarterback to pass. The defense is coming on a blitz. And they can't connect incomplete. He lets one fly. And he can't reel it in. Puts his arm into this one. Good enough for a first down. When you throw passes with that much heat, it makes it hard for the receiver to catch, but also for the defender to pick it off. <laughs> Muscles a pass near the sideline. The away team takes their first time up. The QB almost had to look twice, Dave. Sometimes you've got to be sure. You don't expect to see guys that wide open in this league. Padilla steps back into the pocket, fires a... He makes the catch in the end zone for a touchdown. Huge credit goes to the blockers on that touchdown. That Hike. really paved the way right into the end zone. Just a bit outside. The away team eats away at the lead a bit. 
At this point, Dave, it's up to the offense to regain control of this game by chewing the clock or scoring points. The home team has the chance to make this a two-score game with this possession. Here comes the pressure. Makes the catch. The away team will use one of their timeouts here. That gets us to second down. Go. Number four, looking to pass. Makes the catch. He scores! That was a well-designed play to get him open on that short pass Tonight. into the end zone. And it's good! Boston adds to their score. 45-31. The home team is really moving out in front of this matchup. Tackled after a return of 26. The offense has a great opportunity here to build some momentum and eat away at that lead they're facing. He can't make the catch. The Whalers sending pressure. He can't make the catch. Padilla steps back into the pocket. He throws one. Picked off. Shakes off the def and he crosses the goal line for a touchdown. Let's see how the penalty affects things. The away team accepts the penalty. I know this sounds bad, but sometimes taking a pass interference penalty. The ball's on the ground. He is sacked in the backfield by number 93. Let's see how the penalty affects things. Boston accepts the penalty. That was a clear hole. Good call by the officials. Throws it. He can't make the catch. Well, we'll see if that holds up after the penalty. You've just got to wonder when the drops get into a wideout's head. They start overthinking the process, and one drop leads to many. Boston will accept the penalty. That was a clear hole. Good call by the officials. There's a penalty marker on the field. Heaves a pass. Brought down up near the 27. Let's see what the call on the field is. The away team chooses to decline the penalty. This defense is going to have to get its assignments in order. If not, they can expect to give up yardage all day. Padilla back to pass. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown. The offense showed us great execution and determination on that touchdown. Just a bit outside. The away team bridges the gap a bit. 45-37. The home team is feeling the pressure. They can give themselves a lot of breathing room with a score on this upcoming drive. The home team has a one-possession lead going into the drive. Let's see what they can do with it. We've got an injured player down on the field. Romeo on the run. The away team will use their third and final timeout here. First down. That'll be enough for the first down. That brings an end to the game, and time for us to take a look at the Mike Steele stud of the game. <laughs> Mike, who are you thinking had the most impact today? <sighs> you know, Dave, today was a tough choice for me. In the end, I've got to go with number four for the home team. What an impact he had today.